Hello everyone and welcome back to another a very special chess game from the history of chess from 1851 London England and in the chess game we have the legendary attacker basically the Mikhail Tull of the 19th century Adolf Anderson and Anderson's opponent is Marmaduke Bilbil and this chess game was the final of the London 1851 chess tournament so both players has managed to eliminate their opponents and they faced each other in the final in July in London 1851 next to the great exhibition of London in 1851 which was also another important historical event so let's see what happened in this chess game Adolf Henderson starts the game with pushing the e-pawn c5 bishop to c4 so we have the Sicilian defense knight to c6, knight to c3, e6, d3 attacking the bishop well Anderson doesn't mind so Anderson is always moving forward not even for defending his pieces he doesn't like to go back interesting so a6, queen to e2, knight out and Anderson castled from the queen side mega aggressive, super aggressive knight to g6, defending the bishop Developing the bishop and Adolf Anderson pushed the f pawn, marching. Black castled. f5 by Anderson, still moving forward. Well, bishop check, king to b1, and Anderson captured back and attacking the knight. Attacking the queen, defending, defending the knight. So we can say that black has little bit more passive, much more passive maybe. So black pieces are all backed up. There is only bishop active. Developing the knight, also bishop goes back. Again, attacking the bishop. And finally, will will push the pawn, b5. Well, Adolf Henderson played a very beautiful move. What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? He actually played a very aesthetically beautiful move. So can you see the next move of Adolf Henderson? So let me give you a couple of seconds. If you need, you can also pause the video and try to guess the next move of Adolf Anderson. In this position, White has a very beautiful tactical shot, which is actually, uh, which is giving an important advantage to White. So let me give you a couple of seconds. Okay, so in this position, Anderson played bishop to c7. What a move by Adolf Anderson. Deflecting the queen. And not accepting the sacrifice, we have queen to e7. But in this position, if daring to capture the bishop, then knight takes bishop, that's check. The g-pawn is pinned after moving the king, capturing the rook. And this is beautiful because this is a double threat. Both attacking the queen and also threatening checkmate. And this is all over for black. So this is why Adolf Henderson played bishop to c7. Queen to e7, not accepting the sacrifice of course. But then, knight takes bishop, queen takes on f6, and this is actually losing on the spot. Well, we can say that White has the perfect attacking position, the queen is eyeing the king, the rooks are not connected for black, white has connected rooks and white king is perfectly safe. On the other hand, black pieces are all in the 8th rank. And look at the bishop of black on c8, it is stuck, so this is a perfect attacking position for Adolf Anderson. What would you do in this position if you had the white pieces? There is another winning move in this position for white. Well, Anderson played rook to d6. And where is the queen going? This is trapping the queen. But there is only one safe move, but black didn't play that move. Black played knight to e6, and this is all over for black. Will Will admits the defeat and he played this desperate move. Anderson simply captured the knight. But in this position, if defending the queen, what happens? 
then simply pushing the f pawn and this is both threatening checkmate and also attacking the queen and this is all over for black so there is double threat basically black has to give up the give up the queen for defending the checkmate threat this is why we have knight to e6 for surviving and anderson simply captured the knight d takes on e6 doubling the rooks finally developing the bishop but anderson is a piece up invading the seventh rank bishop to c6 bishop to e5 attacking the queen well black captured the knight if capturing the bishop with the queen, queen takes bishop is a possibility. Anderson played beautiful, queen to g3, keep attacking the queen. And finally, queen to g6 and Anderson captured the bishop, defending the queen and Anderson captured the bishop. So white is a piece up, will will captured on c4 and it is white to move. What would you do in this position? <laughs> There is a winning move on the spot and after that move black is crying <laughs> let me tell you that so let me give you three seconds well adolf henderson kept his eyes on the price and he captured the rook queen takes on a8 and finally marmudik will will resigned this was a knockout a brutal attack a rampage attack by Adolf Henderson, the famous attacker of the 19th century of chess. The possible continuation, if capturing the queen, then check. Black has a back rank problem. Rook takes rook, rook takes on the eight. Check, mate. Fantastic and incredible chess game by Adolf Henderson. Very simple, but very beautiful and also instructive. So this is why in this position, after Anderson captured the rook, queen takes, on a8, his opponent resigned. And thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. So take care and bye bye.